In this video, we'll see how AQTime integrates with Visual Studio. AQTime integrates directly into Visual Studio and extends the Visual Studio IDE with new panels, toolbars, and menus. It also provides a new AQTime project type for Visual Studio and allows you to perform profiling directly from Visual Studio's IDE. Let's see how that integration works. You gain access to the AQTime functionality within Visual Studio via the AQTime project item like what you see right here. This allows you to use AQTime panels, menus, and toolbars directly from within the Visual Studio IDE. AQTime also integrates a new AQTime menu into the Visual Studio main menu here. This contains information that specify profiler settings and manage the profile process. The project menu also contains AQTime specific project commands. These commands affect the project structure. The setup panel, as shown right here, specifies what portions of code to profile and when. And the summary and report panels display the profiling results. The report panel displays the profiling results in table form, and the summary report gives a brief overview of the profiling results. Other panels, such as the details panel, call graph, and call tree panels, display additional information for the element currently selected here in the report panel. The assistant panel, shown in the bottom right corner of my screen, displays context sensitive information for your AQTime project. AQTime also adds toolbars to the Visual Studio IDE. These toolbars help you work with panels and perform profiling. For example, on the setup panel, this toolbar right here allows you to customize the AQTime project. The AQTime toolbar in the main IDE, shown right here, provides quick access to the commands that manage the profiling process. All the AQTime panels and toolbars integrated into Visual Studio can be customized the same way that the native Studio interface can be customized. So they can be resized, dragged, docked, or hidden. And if you need to make additional panels visible, you can use the Panel List dialog by coming up here to the AQTime menu and choosing Panel List, and then selecting the desired panel that you wish to display. Okay, so let's walk through the steps needed in order to set up an AQTime project in Visual Studio. I'm going to close down this sample that I've got right here. I'm going to open up a different solution. I'm going to file open project. I'm going to open up the CS Cycles solution right here. Okay, so now I've got my solution loaded inside of Visual Studio and I want to add the AQ Time project element to it. So to do this, I right click the solution in the Solution Explorer and I'm going to say Add New Project. I'm going to specify the AQ Time project type and I'm going to give this a more descriptive name. I'm going to call this Profiling Cycles. I'll click OK. Now you can see right here, Visual Studio now contains that AQTime project element called Profiling Cycles. All right, now let's start working with our AQTime project and specify the module that we want to profile. To do that, I'm going to come up here to Project, Add Output. And this is going to invoke the Add Project Output dialog. And this dialog is basically suggesting that you add modules of the current Visual Studio solution to the AQTime project. And we'll click OK to that. Now with that done, we can see here in the areas pane of our AQTime setup that we're going to specify what code segments should be profiled. Now we already have a handful of predefined profiling areas selected. We can profile entire .NET code, script code, or Java code. And we also have the full check area here which is selected by default. I'm going to leave that one selected and I want to analyze all the routines inside the application. So I'm going to make sure that full check by routines is selected. With that done, we want to choose what profiler we want to use. So in our example today, we want to check the project's performance and get the amount of time spent on each routine's execution. So to do that, we're going to make sure that the performance profiler is chosen from the list of available profilers right here on the AQTime toolbar. Okay, so now our AQTime project is ready. Let's go ahead and profile our application by clicking the Run button right here on the Visual Studio toolbar. And that brings up the Run Settings dialog. It allows us to make some changes if we want to. I don't want to make any changes to my settings here, so I'm just going to click the Run button. Now the application that we're going to profile is launched, and profiling has been started. So within my tested application here, I'm going to click the Execute button, and then wait until the application has completed. Okay, so execution has been finished. I'm going to click OK to this. Then I'm going to close my application down, and AQTime will generate the profiling results. So let's take a look at these results. The report panel displays the routine profiling results. It contains the amount of time spent on each routine's execution, as seen right here in the time column. 
how many times a particular routine was called, as seen right here in the hit count column, and so on. Now when you select an individual routine here in the report panel, the details panel that you see down here shows information on the parent and children routines. Let's actually make this panel a little bit bigger so that you can see more of it. The call graph panel shows the routine calls hierarchy and it's also possible to examine the profiled applications source code. So to do that, you double click the desired routine here in the report panel and now AQTime takes you to the exact source code line for that particular function. This concludes our video on AQTime integration with Visual Studio. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at the URL on your screen. We wish you luck and hope you enjoy working with AQTime.